Okay, so let's talk about contracts. Contract, contracts are great for software engineering. They catch errors where they happen, when they happen, without letting them bubble through and hurt you, and hurt you later. But contracts come with a sometimes significant disadvantage in that they incur a lot of runtime checks, which uh, sometimes can slow down your programs. And often these costs are non-local and can be kind of unpredictable. So it's hard to tell when and where contracts are slowing you down. So this, this program is slow because of contracts, but, but we don't know it yet. So let, let's run it and see what happens. Yes. So this is a simple program written in uh, hashlang synth, uh, which is a si simple software synthesizer that I, I wrote, uh, which will soon be up uh, on the package system. So uh, what it does is it uh, synthesizes a little tune that you may know. And uh, it does it by first sequencing uh, some notes using a sawtooth wave and has a very simple uh, drum backing. Uh, and then it spits everything out to a file for our enjoyment. So as you can see, that's not really uh, real-time uh, synthesis. It took us about uh, 20 seconds. But once uh, we do get it, uh, then we get roughly what we expect, a, a chiptune rendition of the first couple of bars of our favorite disco hit. OK, but that, that, that was pretty slow. So what, what do we usually do when we have a slow program? Well, of course, we reach out for our trusty provider. So let's do that right now. And let's run it again. Yeah, it's going to take some time. But uh, while it's running, I'm going to tell you a story. So while I was research, researching for this talk, I was, I was wondering, so in this, in this song, they, they keep talking about like they want to move to a town that's funky and all that. And I was wondering, so what is that funky town? And so I went to the Wikipedia page. And what it said in the first introductory paragraph is that the song was written, ah, OK, I'll, keep this, I'll continue the story later. <laughs> all right. All right. We're going to get plenty of downtime later in the talk. OK, so now let's see what's slow. So uh, the numbers to keep, uh, to pay attention to are, uh, it's a little bit, uh, oops, sorry for the camera, uh, people listening at home. I, I didn't, yep, your drums are cheap nowadays. All right, actually, now we can see a little bit better. So the numbers to pay attention to are the numbers in the second uh, column, which is the time being actually spent in the function that's being shown. So as we can see here, number 11, that's, uh, the name is a little bit truncated, but this is 28% uh, of, of the time in this program is spent in uh, array, typed array, something like that, which is in the math library. Yep. And if we keep going, we get number 8, which is another 30% 30, 30 of the math library. And 6 is uh, the next contender, and that, that's actually in, in the demo. So at this point, we have two options. So we could, fr we could send an e angry email to Neil saying, hey, your math library made my program slow. Or uh, we could investigate a little bit further and uh, try to see uh, if there's any something else going on. So let's do that. So math array. So let's have a look at the documentation of math array and see if there's anything to look out for. Yes, in fact, the very first thing on this page <laughs> is be very careful when you use this library uh, when inside an untyped module. Because if you are in an untyped module, since the math library is written in type bracket, you will have contracts coming in between the two. That may slow you down uh, 25 to 50 times. So uh, that's, that could potentially be a problem. So how do we know if that's actually what's uh, causing our Funky Town program to be slow? Well, let's find out. So let's fire the contract provider. So the contract provider is a tool that uh, will run your program, profile it, and tell you where and when contracts are uh, causing your program to be slow. So it's going to pinpoint exactly where contracts are applied if your contracts are being uh, too expensive. So instead of showing us where the contracts are checked, like the provider did, it will tell us where the contracts are applied, which is where you can actually change something. OK, now it's yeah, finished running. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, uh, 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 in the questions, question, questions period. OK, so now let's have a look at the result. So it's spitting them out to a file. Uh, cost breakdown. Yes. Uh, let's make this bigger. Oops. Can you read this? 
All right, so the very first line here is telling us that for this specific run of the program, it took us uh, about 70% of the running time of the program to uh, just check contracts. So it looks like the warning that Neil put in the documentation is actually uh, happening now. And uh, then the rest of the, of the file is giving you a breakdown of the costs in terms of, for instance, which contract. So here, the, uh, the contract arrow struck the array, blah, 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 which is applied at uh, the source location over there, is costing us uh, almost four whole seconds of the 19 seconds. So this is, this is something that's a little bit problematic. So if this output looks a little bit dry to you, uh, let's do something else. So let's look at the module graph. To render the PDF, shouldn't take too long. Yeah, I, I, can, I, can, I can keep telling the story. All right, so <laughs> I was on Wikipedia, and uh, what uh, the page was saying is that um, the, the song was written by the group Lip Sync while they were in Minneapolis, which apparently was not funky enough for them. And he wanted to move to Carlisle in the UK, according to the, the Wikipedia page. Okay, this is not working. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I have uh, other PDF readers. Uh, module graph. All right. OK, so now we have a slightly friendlier uh, representation of roughly the same data. So here what we have is we have uh, each, each node in this graph, a very simple graph so far, is a module in our program. So here we have the main uh, module of the, of the synth uh, collection, which then calls out into uh, parts of the math library. So here we can see that there's a contract. The single contract here is costing us uh, a second and a half calling from the synthesizer to uh, part of the math library. And then on the other side, we have another one that's costing us a bit over a second. And then here we have, uh, here we have the big one. Updates. I don't want no updates. So here we have the big one. So in the trans transitive dependencies of the mixer, we have a contract that's taking us four seconds and a half, and another one that's costing us two seconds. So these are the modules in red are untyped modules, and the modules in green are tight modules. So the exact warning that uh, Neil put in the documentation is exactly what's going on. We have on-type modules calling type modules. So uh, that suggests an area for improvement. What if we make the mixer type? So what if we translate it to type racket? Hopefully that should solve the problem. So let's give that a try. So here's uh, the mixer, at least part of it. So uh, let's change this to be a type module. So here we have a data definition that goes that, that becomes a type definition. Okay, then this type here. All right, and let me see if I can do two two th two things at once and uh, actually tell you the story while I'm typing. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> If we remember, uh, yes, so uh, the Wikipedia page was telling us that uh, Carlisle in the UK was the funky town that it had in mind. And there was, uh, as is usually the case on Wikipedia, a link to uh, some newspaper article confirming the claim, or so they thought. So I thought. So I actually followed the link, and uh, the link was actually saying that no, funky town, uh, the funky town that they had in mind was New York. So some prankster must have uh, decided that uh, that uh, Carlisle was uh, funkier than New York and decided to change Wikipedia accordingly. So I guess the lesson here is that uh, Minneapolis is not funky and that either uh, New York or Carlisle is indeed funky. <laughs> that must have been before Prince. Okay, so now we made it tight. Let's see if that works. Actually, uh, let's stop that right now because we don't want uh, contra profile, we want the time so that we know if we've actually improved matters. Uh, Emacs is misbehaving. I should have used Dr. Racket. All right, now let's see if things are getting better. So yeah, another moral of the story is don't trust everything you see on Wikipedia. So I guess while we're waiting, I can tell you something else. So the, the contract provider is, uh, should be available in Racket from Git. I don't think it's in the latest release, but it will be in the next one. Oh, it's back. All right, so 14 seconds. So remember, we started that 19 seconds. Now we're down to 14. So we still have some work to do, but the talk is over. So uh, there, were <laughs> <laughs> there were other things in the, in the, in the module graph that we could have uh, tackled. We tackled the big one, but there's some, uh, some that are left. So if we can improve it by five seconds in the space of a 10-minute talk, think about how much we can speed it up if we spend an actual like, full hour on it. So uh, yeah, if you're in a situation where you think that contracts may be slowing you down, check out a contract provider and find out if that's the case. Thank you.